Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Clyde from Fly Paper Shop and today I will be showing you how to upload products into your Presta Shop using your CSV file in the easiest way possible. Uh, the first thing you want to do is going to log into your back, uh, back office. Uh, inside the catalog section there's products, select products. Um, closer to the far right there's a right arrow key that says import and click that and if you pay attention to the right sidebar it says available fields now these are all the fields that you're allowed to use inside of a spreadsheet to import products into your store every merchant is different every store is different so not everybody needs every field but I'm going to show you the basic fields that you need especially when working with a large spreadsheet to very quickly upload your products Okay, um, I like to work with categories at a time so if you have a large uh, spreadsheet, you come down here and select categories. Now for some editions of PrestaShop, it does manually create it. But just to be on the safe side and uh, save myself from errors, I just like to go ahead and manually create that category that I'll be working with. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, I'm just assuming that you have your spreadsheet together. Um, in the top section, these are the main fields that you would need. And you could just copy and paste your data in each field as you need it. Okay, the first section is the ID section. This is not the product ID, but also you could find the product ID inside that uh, that same uh, available fields on your Presta Shop. Um, this here is just the ID in the back office that identifies the product. So you can let Presta Shop do its thing, leave this section blank, or if you already um, know where you're starting from, you can just start adding those numbers in here. Okay. Uh, the name section, you can name these sections anything you want, just know how to match it up and I'll show you that in the next, sec in the next section. Uh, this name section here is just basically the product name, that's how I'm going to use it. And that's the product there. The category, the SIA, which, uh, which I need. And then the, uh, the price section. Now there's a couple different price sec pricing sections inside a Presta Shop, like your wholesale price, uh, your price before taxes, your price after taxes, and uh, I believe a unit price. Um, those are the available fields for the prices. So, but right now we just need the categories. I'm just copy the category that I'll be working with. Go back over into my Presta Shop uh, catalog categories. Okay, we're already here. <laughs> uh, add new, and we'll just pop that in there. Uh, good rule of thumbs if you um, let's say you have let's say besides furniture and um, it's a particular section we can start adding those keywords here if we want to and we also do the friendly URL and uh, the meta description for that now all those things are needed as far as SEO you can check out my other videos on SEO as I touch more on that but um, just while you're in here if you wanted to do that you can do that Okay, so that, that's basically it. You'll just, you know, add that in there in the top section. It'll automatically duplicate in the front of the URL. you hit save. Okay, and just scroll down just to check, and boom, we have our, uh, have our category there. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to go do is select the products, back the catalog, products. And we will start the import process. Okay. So um, let's get that out of there. Let's go grab the file that I just showed you earlier, which is called example. All right, I have that right here. Go hit OK. Now, pay attention to this section particularly, field separator. Most of the times in Press the Shop, by default, it's uh, separated by a semicolon, which causes a lot of issues. Okay, so um, now that we got that there, let me show you exactly what that looks like in case you go too fast your spreadsheet is going to look like this and you're not going to know what to do with it uh, press the shop is not going to know what to do with it and it's absolutely going to make no sense okay so you import all this into the ID section right. so let me cancel that go back pay attention if you have the field separator and it has a semicolon in it just replace that with a colon okay same thing with the multiple value separator if you see a semicolon there like it has it here separate that with a colon Okay, and just go to your next step. Right. And now you should have your spreadsheet just like this, but you're not done yet. 
uh, you have to match up the fields. Okay, so working with all databases, if you're doing an import and export, the most important thing to remember is that if you want your data to look correct, try to just match up the fields, starting with that first because everything else will go smoothly. All right, so the ID section looks good. All right, active. Active is um, setting your item to like, you know, if it's available for purchase or if it's not available for purchase. I didn't choose one of those fields, but those are one of the fields that you can add. Zero is for not active and the one is for active. Okay. Uh, right now we have the product name section that we're dealing with. Press the shop calls it name section. So that's what we're going to match that up with. Categories. We have our category section for our spreadsheet right here, Basaya. Let's see what Presser Shop calls it. Presser Shop also calls the category, so we need to match that up. The pricing section right here. Remember, I told you there was a couple different fields for pricing section. So let's see what Presser Shop calls it. Uh, Presser Shop has price tax excluded, price tax included. Uh, what else do they have here? They have unit price and unit for the unit price. Okay, so you will select the. Uh, you will select the one that you know that that the purpose that you're using it for. If you need to include the wholesale price, you, you know what I'm saying you'll make a, a selection or, or make a field inside of your spreadsheet for that. But right now we're just working with the price, so we're going to do price tax excluded, okay? And we'll do the import CSV. I got a little error message here. This error message is, is that if you have um, like I was telling you about the ID that works in the back office that identifies it with the product. If I had another ID, if I had another product with the ID of 1534, it just overwritten that product. Okay, so that's one of the things you want to be careful of. If you don't want to mess around with that, you can leave the ID section blank, and Press the Shop will, will uh, automatically generate a ID for that particular product. So now, now, now let's go back and check to make sure uh, that went smoothly. Um, Sai was the category, the product name, uh, back here, name, put that in there, search, and there we have it, we have our Visaya Agnes uh, in the category of Visaya, uh, base price 99 cents, final price is reflected as 99 cents. Reason is, is because we didn't set up any tax rules, um, if you need help with that, uh, you could shoot me an email or a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, let's see here so I can show that to you. So right here we have the tax rule, but the tax rule is not enabled, so it doesn't reflect down here as the final retail price is like, I don't know, a dollar and three cents. I don't know how much that would be, but it doesn't reflect the taxes. That's the only reason why. So I hope this video has been helpful, and um, if you liked it and enjoyed it, please thumb it up, and I will bring you more as time goes on. All right, you have a good day.